Today we're going to be talking about conscious incompetence. And we're going to take a, it's going to seem like a roundabout way, but it's really not. Because conscious incompetence shows up in so many colorful, by colorful, I don't mean like, ooh, look at all these vibrant colors. I mean different shades of vomit. Um, it shows up in so many ways that we have to navigate. And it's not just in relationships. It's also like this. We're gonna be diving into some of the layers of this, but this is a post from, I used to live in Jersey City, um, which was right next to Hoboken. For those of you who are familiar with New Jersey, it's like one of the hot spots to be in, in New Jersey. It's 10 minutes outside of the city, great food scene, um, really fun, like very walkable, love this, right? And the Hoboken girl, I used to write for them actually. I was like covering their like food section, obviously. And they, it's a publication that talks about all of the happenings, all of the local happenings in Jersey City and Hoboken. And this is something that came up not too long ago. Hoboken storm drains accidentally paved over by county contractor right before flood watch. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this specific area of New Jersey, Hoboken is basically underwater as is, right? It doesn't take much for for Hoboken to flood, arguably a, a, a fart from Neptune, and there's a, maybe nine inches of water, right? But we had a flood watch a few days ago, not necessarily from when this is posted, but from when I'm recording this. There was a flood watch a few days ago for most of New Jersey. I have friends that are in South Jersey, like close to the Philadelphia area. They got the flood warning too. So we knew that people were going to be canoeing, paddle boarding in Hoboken specifically. And they covered the drains. And they covered the drains. I'm going to read this section and then I'm going to show you the pictures. But before we get into this, hi, my name is Shayna. For those of you who are new here, I'm a journalist. I talk a lot about decentering men, child-free living on here. Outside of that, I talk about the intersection of travel, food, beverage, and politics. So if any of that sounds like a vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. If anything that I say resonates, I really appreciate a super thanks. My immigration lawyers have gotten under my nerves and I might have to spend a few hundred more dollars to get my visa, so it would be much appreciated. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's let's read this, shall we? Um, nope not clickbait for the past week park avenue and hoboken has been which is one of the like hoboken is not very big right it's a it's pretty small <laughs> and um park ave is a very popular street very popular street on there um and hoboken has been closed for construction and paving the goal was to make the street smoother not the agenda was pa not on the agenda was paving over drains in front of homes in the area which unfortunately is what happened as we know hoboken is prone to flooding so many residents especially those in park who live on park ave are concerned extra asterisks about this um there are a lot of homes from what I remember. It's been like two or three years since I lived in Jersey City and I had to like walk through, navigate, eat around Hoboken pretty consistently. There are some homes, there's a lot of homes that are like above, like you have to climb up the, the stairs to get there, but there are some sub-level homes, homes that are like underneath those stairs. Those people, I don't know how they don't have gills. Continuing on, Councilwoman Emily, Hoboken mom, um, shared with HG that while the county has been in touch with her and the city, they haven't addressed two major issues. One, drains from sump pumps that flushed into the street were blocked completely. And two, curbs were non-existent in multiple, in multiple places, which means rainwater will run from the street directly into garden level apartments. What does this look like? And I will be posting the link to this article below, but what does this look like? It looks like this. It looks like this. Does this look like it makes sense to anybody? They've been working with contractors to in order to smooth out and then this is the result. They said, oh my gosh, but you wanted me to smooth over the road, right? It's kind of like when somebody says, hey, I want you to wash the dishes. Um, they shouldn't, people shouldn't have to say that, but it's like, hey, I want you to wash the dishes. And then they wash them without soap. It's that. From another angle, there was a storm drain that was supposed to be right over there. Now, here's the real question that I think we all have the answer to, but I just really want us to, to 
come together for this. Do you think that the contracting company and the individual people that covered over all of these storm drains and curbs, do you think any of them were women or femmes? Or does this look like the work of men? Right, we all know the answer to this. Now, for those of you who are not Black American, um, there is a staple in many a Black household named Yama Van Zandt, hashtag fix my life. And one of the things that she says, has said when their series was running was, um, if you do it somewhere, you do it everywhere. So if you are consciously incompetent somewhere, at home, with your partner, with your kids, with your families, at work. Most of them try not to do it at work. Why? Because that is, I will be making, I do already have like a PowerPoint about this, but I've gotten so many questions about like balds and the bald energy. So if you are responsible at work, but you're responsible everywhere else, I call that a corporate bald. So you could be a corporate bald, right? But also you could just be, incompetent in so many other ways but guess what even if you are a corporate bald corporately they see that you glisten and up top they see your thoughts and it's a concern for many so when we accommodate conscious incompetence there are real life repercussions for this people in hoboken mind you this was a couple days ago i have not checked in on them i have a brother who uh lives in the area but he lives much higher up so he's good he learned his lesson um but yeah yeah it's 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 rough out there it's rough out there and not just in theory and not just in other people's homes but other boogas affect you in the day-to-day -day life and this is a prime example. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I would love to hear your thoughts and prayers for the citizens of Hoboken, New Jersey on this. Um, please tippity type them away in the comment section and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye.